Good morning. It is Thursday, August 25th, 2022. Back here for Daily Shakeup number 580. Wow, how those, how those numbers keep tumbling on. Today, we're going to talk about wildfires. It may seem like an odd topic. I was on a call earlier this week, and we were talking about, of course, leadership. And someone said, like, what's your core mission? And I got excited about sharing the topic of leadership. And I said something, never said it before, never thought it before. I said, I want to help people, teams, organizations create wildfires of leadership. What means is so much friction is going on, pushing against what has been, which isn't working, that we have a spark and that spark lights a fire and, and we nurture it and we, we feed it with energy and it creates this wildfire that basically takes out what was before, our old thinking, our old ways of being, our old ways of managing and leading. And in its place, it creates an opening, an opportunity for new growth. And I remembered that about, I don't think, five, probably five years ago now, I was in California just a couple of days after a massive wildfire. Yes, there was a lot of destruction. Homes were lost. Some lives were lost. It was, in many ways, a terrible thing. And yet what amazed me was within 48 hours as I was driving down the road in scorched areas like you see in this picture, the grass was growing again. New growth, green growth fresh growth, fresh ideas, new thinking, new perspectives, when we think of it in terms of leadership. I'm not suggesting that we always have to get rid of everything, but perhaps the absence of a wildfire is what's keeping us from really transforming how we lead, how we manage, how we interact, how we relate, how we empower or fail to empower, which means disempowering the people around us, the members of our team and our organization. That's what I'm wondering. Do you want to be part of a wildfire, a wildfire of leadership that takes out the old because we're willing to be bold and courageous and inventive and to think differently and see differently and relate differently and be more vulnerable and more empathetic to create truly a people-centric team and organization? I'm inviting you to be part of a leadership wildfire, knowing that new growth, new ideas, new outcomes will follow. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. By all means, stay connected.